So I'm Noah Biran. I'm a physician at the John Thurve Cancer Center in the Division of Multiple Myeloma in Hackensack, New Jersey. So we're trying to come up with an innovative approach to helping patients with high-risk myeloma. Unfortunately, these patients, despite all the new advancements and all the new drugs, still have a very short survival relative to standard risk patients. And so we're trying to change the natural history of the disease using the immune system of the patient. And there's a drug called pembrolizumab, which is an anti-PD-1 antibody. And what it does is it helps the body's own immune system to be upregulated and it prevents the cancer from shutting down the immune system. So what we're doing is we have a clinical trial where we're combining that drug, pembrolizumab, with lenalidomide and dexamethasone in high-risk patients right after transplant. And that's the point where the immune system's at its best and the cancer is at its lowest point. And we think that's a good time to harness the immune system to try and keep the myeloma in remission. So we're going to see what we can do with that. I think um, the whole concept of immunotherapy is the most exciting part of where multiple myeloma research is heading. Um, we have a lot of ways of doing this. We have vaccine trials. We have something called CAR T cell therapy. We have monoclonal antibodies where we can harness the immune system to fight the cancer. And we're seeing responses even in patients who are refractory to five, six, seven, eight, or even more lines of therapy where we think that pretty much nothing will work and these types of treatments are working. So that's very exciting.